I just finished reading Skyward, which is a young adult science fiction book by Brandon Sanderson, which means he's breaking out of his wheelhouse a little bit there. And I don't have a lot to say about it. This is the introduction song. It's not very good, but it's not too long. So I just want to start off by saying I didn't dislike Skyward. I thought it was fine. You know, I didn't feel like I wasted my time after listening to it. But at the same time, uh, it's just so, 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 so immensely formulaic. Like, there is not a single part of the story that I didn't see coming. There is not a single character relationship that I couldn't figure out where it would go uh, from the instant it was introduced. There's not a single character who broke out of a mold in any way. I really mean that. So, yeah, overall, it's just... It's fine, I guess, but I don't have anything else to say about it. It's just fine. So the story here is that uh, many decades ago, humans had some sort of big galactic empire, and uh, they were being hunted down by this alien species called the Krell, and they uh, fell onto this planet called Detritus, or crashed onto it, depending on how you put it, uh, which has a whole bunch of just debris orbiting it, so it kind of prevents them from seeing out, but it also prevents the Krell from seeing in, and they can't really uh, get in or out very easily. And so the Krell just send in ships all the time, just attacking the human settlements, attacking the little proto-cities they've set up, and so they, need, they constantly need more and more pilots. And there's this girl named uh, Spensa, who her father was a pilot who was killed, but he was also... Uh, a deserter, or coward if you will, so she's looked down upon for that, and she wants to join up, she has difficulty doing it, but eventually she does, and then she just trains a whole bunch and goes through some battles, and that's basically the whole story. Like I said, this whole thing is extremely formulaic, but I gotta say the story is easily the worst part, because it is just boring, is the main thing. Like, there's very little that happens other than training and uh, occasionally, oh shit, the Krell are going, and it's dangerous, so we need the cadets who are still in training to go up and fight too. Which is fine the first time it happens, but it happens a bunch more. And until you're like two-thirds of the way through the story, nothing else happens. Like, at, at the two-thirds mark, you start uh, seeing some more stuff. There's a couple of plot twists, I guess. And I'm not going to give them away, but, uh, you know, they're very easy to see coming. And then there is a climax, which is, again, fine. It's just kind of... I mean, even... Like, you expect Sanderson to have a really good climax, because that's, you know, that's just something he's really good at, because he outlines so tightly. But once you get to this one, it was just like, oh, look, there's an excuse for a really big battle, and oh, the stakes are super high, and then there's one big reveal twist thing, and it's just, uh... Well, I don't want to say it's disappointing, but uh, I was expecting more. Now, like I said, every character stays firmly in the mold that they had when they're first introduced. Uh, however, I will say that Spensa is still likable enough. And then there's another character who shows up later called Mbot, who I also liked. But, like I said, they both stay in their mold. They stay in their character mold and never get out of it. And the other characters also stay in their character mold and never get out of it. And, like, I hardly even remember most of their names. And I only finished reading this, uh, two days ago, I think? So, yeah, it's just, it's a massive failure on every front. Like, they, they do their job, sure, but that's it. Even the setting, while it sounds kind of cool uh, at first when it's described, doesn't have that much detail to it. It's kind of just, yeah, humans have these, uh, settlements. They're mostly underground so that they can be protected from bombs and... The richer people live deeper underground so that they're more protected. And then the military has kind of taken over the government by this point, which most people are okay with because it's necessary for survival, or they see it as necessary for survival. And that that's kind of cool, but they don't really do much with any of that. It's just, yeah, the aliens are attacking, let's fight them. And that, that's the whole story. I really wish I could go on for another couple of minutes about this, but... I really just don't have anything else to say. Everything is very, very standard in this. Like, it's a story of a person who wants to become trading to become this super special badass warrior. 
uh, and they have to prove themselves because people don't think they can do it. Like, you've seen that exact story a bunch of different times, not just in books, but in video games, in movies, and TV shows. Like, it, it's been all over the place. It's been done before, and it's not that that can't be made interesting, but in terms of trying to make it interesting, Sanderson really, really failed here. And I'm making it sound a little worse than it is because, like I said, it's fine. There, there's a couple of points that I liked. There's a couple of characters that I liked, and it, you know, mostly Spensa, who is the main character. It's all from her POV, so it's important that we like her. But yeah, that's all. I don't have anything else to say. Thank you to everyone who watched this far in my ranting about obscure, weird topics. And thanks especially to all my patrons whose names are here. And my $10 and up guys are Apo Savalainen, Andrew Dixon, Ashley Watson, Ava Toomer, Brother Santodes, Christopher Quinten, Emily Miller, Joel, Johnny St. Clair, Madison Lewis Bennett, Taylor Briggs, Tobacco Crow, Topher Wheeler, and Vay Victus. As well as all the other names here. You guys are you guys are awesome. If you want to get your name up here or access to other goodies, then go to my Patreon page, check that out. And if you can't do that, then just, you know, sharing this video and commenting on it and all that. That helps me too. Anyways, uh, see you next time. Bye.